a 25-year-old man is admitted to the hospital after suffering an injury while rock climbing. Radiographic imaging demonstrates a ruptured spleen. Emergency splenectomy is performed. Which of the following peritoneal structures needs to be carefully manipulated to prevent excessive intraperitoneal bleeding? The concept that needs to be noted in this question is in regards to the ligaments that are found within the abdomen. You want to identify which ligament in which we're going to have the splenic artery. Because if we're going to do a splenectomy, we need to ensure that we're going to ligate the splenic artery in order to be able to carefully remove the spleen without causing any excessive bleeding. So you want to identify which of the following ligaments will contain the splenic artery. That being said, let's take a look at our answer choices. A. Hepatoduodenal ligament. We know that the hepatoduodenal ligament is going to contain the portal triad. That's not going to involve the splenic artery, therefore we can eliminate it. B. Gastrosplenic ligament. The gastrosplenic ligament is going to contain the short gastric artery supplying the fundus. That's not going to be supplying the spleen. Therefore, we can eliminate this answer. The hepatogastric ligament is going to be in between the lesser curvature of the stomach and my liver. That's not going to contain my splenic artery. Spinorenal ligament does look like a good answer, so we're going to keep that. Ligamentum teres hepatis, that's going to be a remnant of my umbilical vein. Therefore, we can eliminate that too. Our best answer here will be the splenorenal ligament. You want to be aware that the splenorenal ligament is going to contain the splenic artery when it's entering into the hilum of the spleen, and it's also going to have the tail of the pancreas. So you want to be comfortable with the structures that are found in these ligaments that I mentioned here. If you have any questions, feel free to contact MedTutors with the email provided below.